Well, we're less than 18 hours away from kickoff in the 86th annual Sun Bowl game. Florida State matched up against Arizona State, and the Sun Devils have completely changed the direction of their program since the last time that they played in the Sun Bowl two years ago. Colin Deaver reports. The best football players across the country head off to college every year with the same goal, making it to the NFL. Few schools prepare their players for the next level, quite like Arizona State. We know what it takes to get there. We know it takes to play with the best and, and be the best. And, and so when we say something, it holds a little bit more weight. Under second year head coach Herm Edwards, the Sun Devils have adopted an NFL style operation, complete with seven coaches that spent time in the league. It's headlined by Herm, but also features former Bengals coach Marvin Lewis, Super Bowl champion Antonio Pierce, and Hall of Famer Kevin Mawai. Most of these guys, I would say 80% of them, if you'd ask them, do they want to play on Sunday, they would raise their hand. Well, if you have a mechanism to, to show them what it takes to play on Sundays, you have a better chance. For the Sun Devils, their wealth of knowledge and familiar faces gives them an instant leg up in recruiting. I think just the knowledge that we bring in our, in our resumes, you're credible. You know, so with things that you say, they understand that you're saying it with a purpose. If you have enough ability, we're going to prepare you to go to play at the next level. And uh, we want to win a lot of games and win championships on the way to that. ASU's practice style is different from other college programs and gives the players a sense of what to expect at the next level. We don't believe in three-hour practices, two-hour practices. We got here an hour, 20 minutes, hour, 30, get it done. But we give them a true representation for the next two to three years of their career to see what it's really like. The transition from the NFL back to college isn't always simple. Just ask Lewis, who was an NFL head coach for most of the last two decades. Well, I think the biggest change is the youth of the guys, them not understanding certain things and, and so forth, and, and then getting them to understand that winning and losing, the finality of winning and losing. For the players, being coached by guys they've seen for years on television, it's a bit strange at first. It was surreal for a little bit. The more you practice, it's like, okay, I got to do my job. Like, I can't be like starstruck by these guys because I need to listen to valuable information that they're passing to me. As Edwards builds his program in Tempe, it's all about finding the balance between competing in the Pac-12 and producing NFL talent. God gives me talent. We give them information. We give them knowledge. That's what we do. We're knowledge providers. That is our task. Can they take the knowledge you give them in the classroom, on the football field, and practice, and take it and apply it in the game? In El Paso with the Sun Devils, Colin Deaver, KTSM 9 Sports.